the family on YouTube asked, was wondering what are your ideas about fasting causing gallbladder sludge or even gallstones? Yeah, and this is a common thing that you know some people will will discuss that are out there that fasting, if you're doing fasting, it can cause uh, sluggish gallbladder, sluggish, you know, basically just kind of a buildup of, of sluggish bile in the gallbladder. And there is some truth to it because you know, normally our liver is constantly producing bile. So a lot of people think the gallbladder produces bile. It doesn't. It's a storage house for bile. Bile we use to help emulsify fats, to break down fats so we can digest them. It's also very antimicrobial and uh, in, in the small intestine, helps keep the small intestine free of excess bacteria and fungus and things like that. Super important uh, digestive fluid that we produce. And the liver is constantly producing it. It's just constantly producing small amounts of it. And when we're not, you know, in between meals, it's storing it. Uh, it's storing it in the gallbladder and it sits there in the gallbladder. So over time, if it's, you know, constantly bringing in more and more and more bile, you know, obviously the gallbladder will, will, will get, you know, more larger, you know, obviously it'll have more and more of storage capacity. Now, after about like, if you're doing an extended fast, after about two days or so, you really stop producing bile and your body kind of shifts into a it really puts all its resources into deep healing and repair. Um, and so if you don't eat for two hours, for two days, this is why we always recommend like breaking your fast with liquid foods, really easy to digest foods because you have turned off your digestive juice production during that, that period of time, because your body's shifting its resources to really focusing on deep healing and repairing within kind of the two day span, your body's still producing it. Um, obviously like you know, the fr within a 20, 24 hour fast, it's really no slowdown in, in production. And so you're building it up in the bio, in, in your gallbladder. Now, with that said, normally if you're healthy and you're well hydrated, your ear, your insulin levels are stable, you're eating a healthy diet, um, full of real foods and, and minerals and things like that. You should be having really healthy bile in general. You shouldn't have sluggish bile. However, for a lot of individuals, they have, you know, eaten a diet full of sugar, carbs, refined seed oils, and all these things can cause more of a sluggish bile buildup. And then they start doing intermittent fasting, yet they've got, you know, years of kind of this wear and tear on their body. And it's possible that they could cause, you know, just an overload of sluggish bile to build up in their, in their um, gallbladder as they start following, you know, a, like a ketogenic diet or a, uh, or a intermittent fasting lifestyle or a combination of both. In fact, one of the biggest risk factors for developing gallstones is actually too much weight loss, right? And this is because, you know, people start going on diets where they're not utilizing as much of that bile. And then what happens that bile is already super sluggish. It sits in there for a long period of time. It's congested. It starts building up uh, stones. So if, if that's you, if you're kind of, you know, just nervous about your gallbladder, perhaps you've got a family history of issues there. Um, you've had issues in the past, or you're trying to come off of a not so good diet and move into, you know, the kind of diet approach that Hampton and I talk about, then I would highly recommend making sure you're really well hydrated using a lot of bile support herbs. I always think of this, this idea of, of, uh, bitter is good for your liver, right? So you want bitter, greens, right? So you eat a lot of greens. Um, one of the best would be, um, you know, dandelion greens are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Arugula is really, really good. So those kind of bitter flavors, parsley, super good. You can drink teas like dandelion tea, um, ginger tea, all really, really good for supporting liver function. So you, when you're eating, eat consuming a lot of these foods, artichokes, fantastic for liver gallbladder function and, and and for for bile flow. So those are fantastic things to be doing on a regular basis. I had mentioned earlier castor oil packs, right? So wearing a castor oil pack naturally dilates or opens up those bile ducts and allows the bile to flow through and it also helps to thin the bile. And that's what we want. So hydration, these kinds of uh vegetables really help thin the bile. You can also take a supplement with bile salts like choline for example. Um, that's in it. We have one called Bioflow Support that works great. It helps add the salts when there's too much cholesterol compared to the salts. Because basically bile is bilirubin, which is a breakdown product of red blood cells. So when our body's metabolizing old red blood cells, we get this product, this uh, byproduct called bilirubin, and then it combines it with cholesterol and with a salt. 
and that kind of makes it flow. And so when you have too much salt, your ratio of salt, I'm sorry, your ratio of cholesterol to salt is too high. So too much cholesterol to salt, then it gets very, very sluggish. If your ratio of salt or your cholesterol to salt ratio is too low, so you have too much salts, then you get bile acid diarrhea, right? And then, so then it's running out too fast. So you have to have the right ratio for most people, especially when you have gallstones or um, a sluggish gallbladder, it means that you have too much cholesterol to salts. So getting the salts, col col uh, choline, taurine, those kinds of amino acids are really helpful. Um, so we have a specific product for that. Tudka also really super helpful. Now you had talked about that earlier. Amazing product for helping to open up and get good bile flow. So these would be things that you want to do. So it's not really the intermittent fasting. It's whatever else is going on. Um, with your lifestyle, that would actually be the contributor. However, intermittent fasting could create an environment. If the environment's already present, it could um, allow time for kind of this sluggish bile to build up. And these, so these are the proactive strategies, castor oil pack, drinking some of these teas, using some of these herbs, eating a lot of um, bitter herbs, bitter greens uh, in your diet, consuming a lot of that and um, using some of these supplements.